Hey everyone, Rick here, and it is Black Friday, which means, at least locally here, there's a couple shops that have some really good Black Friday deals. Specifically, um, the two Ground Zero locations, Ground Zero Omaha and Ground Zero Bellevue. Each of these boxes contains uh, what I purchased at each of the stores. This first box is Ground Zero Omaha stuff, and then we have Ground Zero Bellevue on the left. And I thought I would just take a moment to show you what I have. So what they did every, and they do this every year, 50% off board games. And a ton of other stuff too. A lot of trading card game materials as well. But actually, before I get into what I picked up at the Black Friday sales, I wanted to show you this little package that... Um, required signature delivery and I wasn't home the other day so I had to go stop by the post office and pick it up and so I just wanted to show you this first obviously I didn't get this 50% off by any stretch of the imagination but we will see what is in store here And I think it's worth it anyway. Okay. Get that focused up here. And what do we have? Ooh, a fresh copy of Food Chain Magnet. How awesome is that? Very, very cool. This is the latest splatter title, straight from the Netherlands. That is going to be excellent. Of course, if you are not familiar with splatter titles, they are typically heavier games. They, uh, Some of their more well-known games include Roads and Boats and Antiquity, among others. And so this was their latest release for this year. And it's a great, at least what it looks to be a great, um, kind of build up your fast food chain empire against the other players. Um, there's some kind of abstracted art, the way the tiles look, but there's a lot of this old school advertisement art incorporated in there too so that looks really neat anyway that was just what i had to pick up in the mail food chain magnet and how awesome is that going to be and then so let's get into what i got on black friday this first box as i mentioned is all stuff from ground zero omaha and we'll start off with this big game perfume so it's basically a game about fragrances and the market for fragrances and crafting your own fragrances. I enjoy these kind of marketing games and this looks to be another great addition to that whole idea. Assembling your own particular fragrances and then selling them. And it's by Queen Games. And then this next game is called The King is Dead. And this is a game of area control, if I understood it correctly. So you have, you know, your map of the land there and lots of wooden cubes. And the card play is how you will lay out the cubes. And what the funny thing was, this is a recent release, and they actually, uh, Tom Vassell of the Dice Tower just reviewed this game and put up the video of his review today. The same day that I happened to get it, 50% off. So while it was MSRP was $24.95, I only paid like $12.50 for it. So all these games were 50% off whatever it says on the tag. So very cool. And then I did pick up some Magic the Gathering stuff. And I am not a Magic the Gathering player by any means. I do have a lot of cards, but I haven't played competitively ever. And so this was, uh, these are both 50% off. This uh, 
kind of starter pack. It has two 60 card decks in it, and then this deck builder's toolkit, which is always pretty neat to outfit some decks with. So I thought uh, these two things combined were pretty nice, and they were both 50% off also. So that toolkit was like $10. And then I've been eyeballing these. Uh, Magic the Gathering Life Counters. This one specifically is a dragon on top of the dial there. And normally they're 30 bucks a piece. But today it was half off, so $15. And I decided, why not? It's not going to get any cheaper anytime soon. At least I don't think so. And then we have the Pathfinder Adventure Card Game. Uh, the character add-on deck. That's the last one I still needed. Even though I think it was the first one to come out when the new base set, Wrath of the Righteous, was released. But still, I did not have it. I did not pick it up. But now I did, half off, so that worked out well. And then here's just, a really seriously, just an impulse buy. It's a trick-taking game called Four Dragons. But hey, with this artwork and a simple card game for what amounted to be $7.50, why not? And lastly, from Ground Zero Omaha was Game of Crowns. And so it just kind of had an interesting, almost party game look to it. It's designed for four players, four to nine players. So it's not too heavy, and it's designed for larger groups, which I just hosted a game night the other night. And there were seven of us. And I was looking around my room for games that played with larger numbers. And I didn't have too many. I'd had a few. but um, So now I've been kind of more on the lookout for games that will accommodate more players. So this is a newer release from AEG. Game of Crowns. So that is it for Ground Zero Omaha. Now it's sister store, Ground Zero Bellevue, which is my local store had the exact same deal also on supplies as well. So I got this, it's called the Satin Tower deck box. And it just looked really fancy. And what was it? $14.99, so that was half off also, so just over seven bucks. And it looks neat, I like that little logo on there. And there are some really unique things in this lot like this the my little pony it's kind of like a fat pack if you're familiar with those for magic the gathering but this is like a fat pack for my little pony it basically just has some boosters and sleeves and some special foil cards and a box so i actually have collected the almost the entire first release of my little pony but that's all i went with i kind of fell out of the game after that and there's a couple of these games that have just been sitting on their shelves for a long time, like Portobello Market. Like I said, I kind of like these marketplace games, and this is all about strategically placing your market stalls. And so this game was just, I don't even know how old this is, 2007's the year on here, but maybe been released after that sometime, but... So I've seen this on their shelves for quite a while, and at $38 I wasn't too tempted, but at under 20 bucks, I said, sure. Here's another game that has just been sitting on their shelves. It even has a red X on it, meaning that it was 50% off even before the Black Friday sale. This is called Russian Crush. It looks really cool there, but then when I looked at the actual game, I don't know. It kind of had a Formula D feel where how you lay out the track like that, but I wasn't too sure. I thought maybe the stat cards kind of looked a little fiddly, and I just didn't know who I would ever play this with. And then when it was 50% off, I said, maybe now's the time. So I picked up that and we'll see how it ends up playing. And it is really dusty because it has been sitting there for a long time. And then this was special ordered because I have been awaiting this. 
the new edition of Runebound. So that was 50% off. How cool. And so obviously if you're familiar with Runebound, it's a fantasy overland adventure game. This one has no dice, though. It is combat's resolved by the throwing of chips. And so some people are turned off by that, but I'm willing to give anything a try. And it's a, fa a brand new fantasy adventure game, so heck yeah, I was going to get that for 50% off. It's a brand new release. This was another brand new release that I had special ordered as well, Code Names. So again, the whole party game aspect. I still need to get Spyfall. Spyfall came out before this, but Codenames has been getting a lot of good party game buzz. I still need to get Spyfall, but at least now I do have Codenames, which is great. And let's see. Now here's where we start to get into some more bizarre stuff. This. Something called Bar Save, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's from the Earth Dawn role playing game system. And I am not much of a role playing gamer, and I've never played Earth Dawn. But this is an old box set from FASA. Where's the year on that? I think it said 1993. And this store has been around for a while, so sometimes you will walk around and find just old stock from decades ago just sitting there, which is really cool. But I saw this, and it is a fantasy campaign setting for this game, but what attracted me to it was that it comes with you know, Game Master book, poster size map, and 36 treasure and creature cards. I thought that was kind of neat. I mean, heck, it'll just be fun to even just look through there and see what it's all about. Two things left. I'll go with these, this small thing first. And then the last thing's really exciting. This, these are just two 20-sided metal dice. And I'm always on the lookout for some new dice. 18 bucks. These were not half off. But yeah, so shiny actual metal dice. Very cool. Okay. The last item the Atlas of Rokugan. That is the world where Legend of the Five Rings takes place. And like I mentioned before, Fantasy Flight Games bought the Legend of the Five Rings license from AEG. So according to the game store manager, this is the last uh, printed product for Legend of the Five Rings role-playing game. Or just anything L5R from AEG that's going to be produced. And this even makes mention in these little, in this little description about um, the RPG game, the card game. So basically, this is for just a reference material book for everything L5R in the land, cities, inhabitants. That's basically your catch-all. So what an excellent final product from AEG to send off their L5R universe. So that is my Black Friday haul from both Ground Zero locations near me. Very exciting. A lot of games to go through. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time.